Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Monday, October 2nd. So I did not do my normal video yesterday because Saturday to Sunday did not get a lot of sleep. I did a community post and when I am just unclear and really, really tired in my brain, I, that is not how I want to do a video. And I knew I was off work today. So I knew that I could do it today. So I hope you all had a good week last week and a good weekend. My week was fine. Um, you know, normal things had an issue that I was going through, but that is on the mend. Um, my core circle of women that I contact when things are, are going crazy, um, always come through and they did with no fail, um, prayers and just advice and counsel, you know, so doing good. So you can see, I did not get blue in my hair. I do have a streak of pink and I'm going to explain that. So with trying to spend less money, you know, curb my spending, um, cause man, I mean, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, I can just go off the rails with buying stuff. I mean, Amazon and makeup and clothes and stitching and diamond painting and all of that have to rein it in. And I have, I've done pretty good. I think in the past month or so, I mean, when I went to the retreat, I didn't buy anything at the store. It didn't need anything. Right. I would rather save my money for like a diamond painting. I really want, cause I'm even very picky about what I purchased there or like a sip and stitch box, which I know I would love to save my money for the things that I really, really love instead of just buying something because I have a whim and it's in my head. So, okay, my hair. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. So I was going to get my roots done because I had not had my hair colored since June 6th. I usually go every 10 weeks. That was like three months because my hairstylist does not work Saturdays in the summer. So it was grown out like this much. And then I needed a trim. I hadn't had my hair cut or trimmed since January. And what's nice is I still kept the length that I had. She trimmed the ends, but she put some more layers in it. I had showed her a picture and I'm really pleased with it. I really like it. I need layers in my hair because I feel like if my hair winds up getting all one length, it weighs my face down. But the color, a couple of days before my appointment, I messaged her and I said, look, you know, I'm trying to kind of rein in my finances here. I said, can you give me an estimate of what it would cost to get the blue and the green underneath that I was going to do? And it was going to cost a lot. And I said, I just can't do it right now. I said, so let me just get my roots done. Let me get what the necessary things are. So when I went to the appointment, I absolutely love my stylist. She is willing to talk to you about anything and willing to work with you. I was looking on my phone on Pinterest and instead of getting color underneath, I was looking at styles where you get color pieces here where, man, you would really be able to see it, right? I've never had any kind of color like this in my hair, professionally done. And I said, look, I don't want to look, look ridiculous. You know, I'm going to be 50 next year, which I still can't even believe that. But I, I just don't want to look ridiculous. I said, have you ever done, you know, streaks in the front, like on my kind of hair? And she was like, yeah, absolutely. And she goes, I'm going to be honest. She said, if you did pink like this, she said, your hair's already to the point, like so lightened in the front that it wouldn't be too much work to get to this color. And she said, pink fades into a lighter pink usually. So it's not, um, she said, blue, getting blue, you have to have your hair dyed to a certain blonde and then blue will fade to green. And I was like, oh, I don't want that. And so more work. So this would be less work, which equals less money. So I am going back in November because as soon as she did this, first of all, she did this for free. She goes, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to do this for free. Let you see what it looks like and how it's going to fade with the habits of styling your hair. As soon as she did it, I loved it. And I was like, I'm sold. I said, so I'm going to go back the week before Thanksgiving, hopefully, 
and I'm going to get all of the front this color, which is like a bright magenta. So very excited. Yeah. And I've already talked about it with Bill and he's okay with it. And yeah, so like this whole section right here will probably be magenta. This, it's going to look very different and I'm going to just absolutely love it. I know I am. So very excited about that. All right, so questions that I had from last week. So someone asked, how many strands do I stitch on perforated paper? It depends. On 14 count paper, I use two strands, DMC, over dyed thread, whatever. On the 18 count paper, I use one strand of Sulky. I don't like doing DMC on the 18 count paper because one strand is almost too little and two strands are too bulky. Sulky 12 weight thread is about one and a half strands of DMC. So I prefer to use Sulky and it's usually perfect. So that's what I use. And then I had some questions about the retreat. So I do four retreats a year. I do the one in, in July for the Stitch New Jersey retreat that Arlene Cohen puts on. And then I do the Tangles group, the Tangles retreat in Ocean City in April, September, December. And someone said, do they have a waiting list? They do not. That, I, I want to say that is a different category of retreat than any other retreats that are like out there. This one started with just a handful of women that wanted to get together and stitch and it just expanded. So they want to limit the group. I mean, we have about 30 people now and mostly everybody goes every single time. So they want to keep that small number because then we don't need a bigger room. I mean, it's pretty, you, you know what to expect, which is comforting in some ways because I go there for the women to meet the, you know, to talk to the women that I only see a few times a year and get some stitching done, of course, but to experience, um, you know, we go out to dinner and it's just, it's such a good time. And the other question I had was somebody missed my retreat vlog that I used to do. Now, I realized that I had set a precedent on this channel of doing that. I did that for many, many years. I think I only stopped this last year. I didn't do it this whole year. I haven't done it. And I don't think I did it last December either because it was becoming like work. So to record every single day in my room, record going over the bridge, record when I got into the hotel room, it was work. And then I would have to, instead of being able to really enjoy the retreat, like I should be able to, right? I would come back to the room that night and then have to try to remember every single thing that happened during the day that I wanted to tell you guys. And it just got to be too much. And I have to say, it is so nice to just be able to come up to my room, get my book out or do whatever, and not have to be concerned with recording a billion clips and then having to piece all that together when I get home and all of that. I realize that some of you miss those kinds of videos, but the recap that I do when I come home on a Sunday, that's what it's going to be. And I've been much more at peace with it where, like I said, the channel was becoming just arduous and I don't want to come in and, and be doing this channel feeling like that. That's not the purpose. Okay. All right. So this week, movies and TV. Um, I'm still going through the house of cards. I watch that when I'm getting ready in the morning, when I'm folding laundry, because I've seen it like five or six times the whole series. And I just don't have to pay too much close attention. And then I've still been watching dance moms. I am on season three and I did a lot of diamond painting over the weekend and watched dance moms. I don't even have words for season three. Like it is cuckoo, crazy banana pants, like nutty wackadoo. Yeah. And then I actually watched a movie that I own and that I've seen a handful of times. I watched fireproof with Kurt Cameron. So this is also in the same realm of war room and facing the giants. It is done by the Kendrick brothers who I love all of the movies. And there's another movie I want to watch on Amazon prime called overcomer. And that is by them too. Fireproof uh, stars Kurt Cameron 
um, him and his wife are having marital troubles and it is how they navigate it. And it's so, so good. Highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I loved the movie so very much. And like I said, I, uh, I own it. I've seen it a handful of times and I was inspired to watch it again during this week. Books. I finished Alice Feeney's Good Bad Girl. Five stars. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I have been really striving to try to be able to somehow get Kindle Unlimited for free um, because it is $11.99 a month. And I am trying to limit all of that stuff that I'm purchasing because, man, that's where it adds up. $11.99 here, $5.99 there, $2 there. It adds up at the end of the month. Uh, Jill and I had found a three-month trial, so I've had the last three months for free. My subscription expires today. I am hoping to uh, Prime Day for Amazon is coming up on October 11th and 12th. And I am hoping to be able to find a deal. If not, I think I'm just going to not have the subscription for the next couple months. And I'm going to ask for it. Maybe Bill can get it. He could buy, probably buy me a whole year of it Christmas. So that is a plan. Um, I'm not sure how you do that. He could probably just give me an Amazon gift card and I could use it for that. But that is my aim. That is what I'm going to try to do. And I know like that may seem like, wow, I can't believe you're really trying to get that for free because of, you know, it pays the authors when you flip through the pages of a book, when you read the book. I'm just trying to do the best thing that's for me at this moment, right? Um, two books I have had on hold at the library just came in. So I'm very excited about that. Um, Jody Piku's Mad Honey and Carol Goodman's Bones of the Story. I have read every single book that Carol Goodman has written. I would say it's like gothic suspense, domestic it's not domestics. It's more like Gothic. She usually writes stuff where there's an old story back in the times and it uh, has something to do with the current things of today. And then Jodi Piku has really attacked. I don't even want to say attacked. She has written about many current issues in our world. And I have read many, many of her books. There was a point in time where I literally, when I discovered her, I had read like, she had written so many books and I was just like one after the other after the other. So very excited to read both of those. And I had a goal on Goodreads of hitting 60 books this year, and I'm at 61. And the reason I was able to do that so soon is I read a lot of short stories, which I counted because they were like short novellas. So a bunch of those are that. Next year, I'm going to relax on the goal setting for that. I'm just going to set a goal of 12 books a year. That means one a month. And I should easily be able to do that. I mean, like I said, I read seven, 67 books last year and 61 already this year, and we're barely into October. So it is possible I could hit 70 for sure. But why put, you know, I love to read. I'm always going to read, but just the pressure of saying, I got to hit 60 books, blah, blah, blah. No, let's do 12, right? Yeah. Okay, gifts. So I forgot to show you guys last week when I went to the retreat, Cindy had brought patterns because we have a freebie table at this retreat. And she gave me first crack at these. And so I took two patterns that she had. And I, like I said, I forgot to show you guys. So the first one is Heart and Hands Doodle, Doodles Christmas. I love Heart and Hand patterns so much. Love this. Absolutely love this. This will be fantastic on perforated paper except for this backstitch thing right here. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to put on my thinking cap. I will do that. But love the colors, love all of it. Then she had this one, which is by Brenda Gervais, Winter Rose Manor. Now, will I ever stitch this? I don't know because I look at that house and I'm like, holy moly. But it is such a gorgeous pattern for sure. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love this. So very, a lot of white, but love this so very much. And just couldn't resist. 
And then Lacey had just finished a pattern by Silver Creek Samplers and I absolutely loved it. And Cindy is actually stitching this as well. And she has a conversion that is like got purples in it. So I'm going to get her conversion, but it is called Flying Lesson. So Lacey doesn't highlight her pattern. So she passed this on to me. Absolutely love this so much. Yeah, love Halloween. And then on the freebie table, I got this really old pattern. So this is from, what's the year of it? 1994, which, my God, that was only two years after I graduated high school. Um, it's called Letter Fly, and it's by Linen Presents. Never even heard of this person, but I loved it. So this is the name of it. But I loved the fact that the butterfly, the alphabet makes up the butterfly's body. And the bot, like this of the pattern is like a Smyrna stitch. It is a specialty stitch. What is it called? It's listed in here. No, it's not a Smyrna stitch. It is a strap stitch. I mean, I know needlepoint stitches. I've done needlepoint. So, and you could even probably do cross stitches if you really wanted to. But I loved that so much. I thought, and you could do any colors. Absolutely loved it and for free. So that was all of that. No purchases this week. Um, I do have two diamond paintings I purchased. You know, I haven't purchased a diamond painting in a while. And actually, I'm sorry, one diamond painting I purchased this past week. No, it is two. It is two. I have three on the way, though, because... I was contacted by Diamond Art Club to do a sneak peek and it didn't get to me in time. So it's gonna be a first look when I get it. And it is Hannah Lynn's Spooky Doll. And that was released this past Saturday. And so this past Saturday, I also bought uh, the Micah Jolina one that is like the witch that's really colorful, um, gorgeous. And then last week, which I haven't received it yet, is the Hannah Lynn, the Autumn Fairy, the fall, the girl, she's gorgeous. So I hadn't purchased a diamond painting in a while because like I said, I'm very picky. I don't do any squares anymore. And I'm just very, very picky for what, of course, because I have like 30 kits that are undone. So to buy those, to buy one two weeks in a row was a huge thing for me. So, but it was just so gorgeous. And I hemmed and I hauled. I almost wish listed the one this past Saturday. Then I said, I had a $10 coupon and I had a $10 coupon the week before. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it and I'm, I'm just going to get it. So stay tuned for those because I will probably start doing the diamond painting unboxings in a separate video, five or six minute video that you guys can tune in if you want to see it. I'm just waiting for them all to come in the mail. Okay, finishes and whips. I got a lot of diamond painting done this week, so I will be showing you that. Um, I got the whole row done. I, I was gangbusters. And let me tell you that glue dot lasted a month. Mind blown. So between not having to constantly fill my pen with wax or anything else, and then the credenza, it has made my diamond painting so much quicker and easier, right? I will show you that in a second. That diamond painting is going to be stunning when it's done. I can't wait. And you know, when I got the bug again and sat down and really started doing it, I realized why I love to diamond paint. I mean, stitching is awesome. It's always going to be my first love because it's something I have done the longest. But diamond painting, it's so sparkly. It's so colorful if you buy the really colorful ones. And there is just something about putting each of those diamonds down one by one that is just very calming. Oh, and the mesh ruler also helps me go quicker because I'm not taking time to constantly straighten the diamonds and they're perfectly lined up. Chef's kiss, seriously. All right. So I do remember I finished the Salem Sisters Apothecary from Primrose Cottage Stitches at the retreat. I fully finished it. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture because I was so proud of how this turned out. Stunning. So remember, I do have the board that um, they had made for this. Here's my finish. Ah, can you even? So this is scrapbook paper that I printed on my computer. 
I don't know why I was stressing so much about finding proper scrapbook paper from scrapbook.com, paying a ridiculous amount of shipping to get it here, or going to like Hobby Lobby or something and finding it. There is so much digital scrapbook paper on Etsy and it's inexpensive. So I purchased this piece and this piece of black and then did this and then just have the enamel dots in the corners. I think it turned out, it's what, Bill loved this finish. He's like, that's probably my favorite one that you've done like recently. It turned out so, so good. And when people ask me why I stitch on perforated paper, this is why. Ease of finishing. It, it just looked, it looks so, so good. And even showing it like this doesn't do it justice. In person, it's magnificent, truly. So now I get to hang that. And I haven't done too much stitching uh, last week. You know, after stitching at a retreat for hours on end, you get kind of burnt out, at least I do. But I am still working on Primrose Cottage Stitches Autumn Quaker and using the called for thread, which is color and cotton pumpkin pie. I am stitching mine on 14 count white paper. And I am in the middle of a stitch. So you're gonna see. Let me try to move it. Wait a minute. Let me try to. It's turning out so good though. I absolutely love it. So I got done this little motif and started this one. And I'm in the middle of that. And this is one of my favorite needle minders that I have. Autumn is my favorite. It was a button that was turned into a needle minder. And I want to say I bought it from Down Sunshine Lane, but I honestly cannot remember. It's been a long time. I've had this needle minder for years. But yeah, so I hope to do some stitching today. I'm debating whether to, I'm going to try to stitch tonight because the past couple nights I've just been really tired. So haven't stitched at night when Bill has gone to bed. And then I diamond painted the last two days a lot. So yeah, but I will show you the diamond painting at the end. Um, I do have a diamond art club discount code that I keep forgetting to put. So I'm going to be putting it in the description box of every video and it's 15% off for uh, the code is stitcherista15. So favorites of the week, Uncrustables. And I meant to get one and show you. If you need a quick, if you like peanut butter and jelly and you need like a quick lunch, a quick whatever, we get the box at Costco because it's a little bit cheaper, but it's, it's a circle bread and the peanut butter and jelly is on the inside. Chef's kiss. I absolutely love that. I had one of those this week. And like I said, and they, you leave them frozen. If I know I'm probably going to be eating one, I will pull one out and let it thaw out for like 20 minutes. And then it's perfect. So, so good. And then gratitude. So this week I was very grateful for Bill suggesting that we go grocery shopping on Friday because I was done work early and then he got home. And so we took care of it on Friday and I didn't have to do it yesterday. I was very grateful for that because it has been for months I've done it by myself. And um, I don't mind doing it by myself. I've gotten used to it because, you know, Bill works every Sunday now, but it was just really nice to have him suggest that. And I was very grateful for that. And then Terry, um, she has been, she has become such a wonderful friend since last December. And I'm just always grateful for her, but she is really trying to get her views up on her channel. She has a floss tube channel. She posts every Monday and she is one She's the only floss tuber I watch now. Yeah, I don't watch like, I just don't, um, the time, right? But I always tune into her channel because she does a scripture and a, like a prayer reading at the end. And I absolutely love it. But it also lets me keep up with her. I mean, we text weekly, but I only see her once a year at the uh, New Jersey retreat because she lives in Connecticut and I'm here in Maryland and it's about a seven hour drive. It was a seven hour train ride because I kind of looked at it thinking, oh, I could, it's not a seven hour train ride, it's a seven hour drive. Cause I was like, oh, maybe I'll come visit. We can stitch and all that. And then I was like, I don't know if I can do a seven hour drive, but 
I will look forward to seeing her in July of next year. But I am going to be linking her channel in the description box of every video. It is in last week's video, but going forward, it's going to be in the description box of every video. So go and check out her channel and give her some love. Um, a couple of you did go over there because she got like 22 new subscribers last week, and that's just so fantastic. So that's all I have to share with you, except the diamond painting. I mean, are you ready? It's, it looks so, so good. So let's flip you around. Try to do it without making you completely sick. Um, but I love this. It is so sparkly. First of all, the white diamonds, wait a minute, let me get back here. The white diamonds are fairy dust. But I absolutely love the AB diamonds that are in her hair. That's her hair in the crown. I love the shades of pink. I can't wait. Like, here's where I'm at now. This is the next section. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to diamond paint today. You know, it's almost like when I'm off work and I have time during the day to do these kinds of things, I like to diamond paint and then stitch at night when Bill goes to bed. So... I think I'm going to sit down here and diamond paint and put on dance moms and just enjoy. There was a movie on Hulu. I've been wanting to watch that Jill has recommended that she said it was awful, but I'm like, well, now I have to watch it, but isn't it looking so fantastic? I love the ombre look of the colors. I'm so glad I chose this one. I actually think my next diamond painting is going to be Hannah Lynn's poinsettia pixie because of Christmas coming. And I really would love to hang that right there because this one right here is going right next to T Rose Fairy. It's going right there above that lamp. And then I'm hoping to fit two diamond paintings here on this wall. And then it'll be time to start um, switching them out. And I still don't know how I'm going to navigate that, whether I'm going to keep them because I feel like once I take one down, it's been up for so long that I'll probably never put it back up. So what am I going to do with it? Donate it, try to sell it. I have no idea. I will worry about that or, or I will just concern myself with that when the time comes. Um, I have enjoyed so much doing them. I mean, so we remember when I got back into my journey, April Ferry was my first one back. Now I will save the frame. I'm going to start repurposing these frames once I, you know, get the walls filled. But the diamond painting is what I am going to be questioning what to do with it. So I don't know. Um, maybe I buy one of those portfolios that everyone has and just start putting them in there. That's an idea. I could do that. I would hate to just donate it or throw it away, you know? So I'll have to look into that portfolio. I forget what company makes it. I want to say it's Oraloa, but I don't even know if that's right. I know Mrs. Coffee um, showed the portfolio on her channel. So I'll have to search for that video. So I did April Fairy. And then I did Queen of Hearts. Absolutely loved that one so much. Love them all. And then I did T Rose Fairy. And then I'm doing this one. So it has been quite the journey back to diamond painting. And I am so grateful because it absolutely, I love it. I love it so much. The, the different diamond paintings that are out there just, but diamond art club is my absolute favorite, but okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you all have a fantastic week. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.